There's the whole Inkuma pride. <laughs> there they all are. You see, and there's all oh, the tiny babies are here. The tiny cubs are here as well. Look at how cute they are. That's so cool. There's the Inkuma pride and the tiny cubs are just in the back. Look how little they are. They're so small. Hey guys. So this is the first time that we've seen them with the pride. How cool is this? That's so special. Look at them, they're still a little bit kind of, what's going on? So little fluffy and you realize how little they are in comparison to the rest of the pride. Look at the rest of them. There's the sub-adults. So those little cubs, it's hard to think that those sub-adults a year ago were the same size as those little cubs. Oh, so cool, man. That's so magical. Hey, guys. So the little ones are a little kind of wary. Well, two of them. One doesn't care at all. One is sitting watching us. But two of them are a little bit more on the weary side, just checking out what's going on. But how cute are those little cubs? Hey, little one. Rebecca, you say they are so tiny. And look how fluffy they are, too. They are so cute. Lion cubs are one of the cutest things out here. They tend to be kind of full of fur, and they've got these sweet little faces. And it's hard to think, like I say, that if they're males, they'll end up being these 250-kilogram brutes when they're this small. But... Hopefully they will and isn't it amazing that they're still doing fine. We were talking yesterday that the female was still producing milk. Oh look at that face. Is that not sweet? This is just so cool. Rushni, you're relieved that all three are safe. Well, like I say yesterday when we saw that female and she was still producing milk and still had the suckle marks, we knew that these cubs must still be alive but obviously you never know how many cubs so the fact that all three are here is a very special thing and the nice thing is that they've moved it looks like she's moved the den closer towards the camp this is the drainage line that runs towards Weatella camp so I wonder if this is where they've now moved the little ones and these little ones you see the two off exploring on the right there Sev they're going down the hill towards the drainage line where are you two off to this is a slightly more brave it looks like a little male in front that's waddling along. It's difficult to see nicely, but it looks like a little male. Here's the front one leading the way. And off they go into the thicket. How cute is that as they dodder along? Too sweet. Paula, you're wondering how old these cubs are. Well, just judging by their size, they're still little. I would say six, maybe six weeks is what I would give them. Um, so still tiny little things. Um, they are going to still grow quite a bit. So we can start, I, and yesterday I was actually talking about it, is that they're starting to get to six, sort of six, seven weeks old. And we can start viewing them now from about this time. So now that they also come towards the pride, it's much better for us. It means that we can actually follow up and try and look for them a lot more. The first six weeks we try and avoid the area as much as possible, try and avoid that female. But when they're with the pride like this, and they, you can see they're quite relaxed, they're not running for cover or not scared of us in any way. So, and especially not this one, this one is super chilled. And so it's a good sign, it means that we should start getting more frequent sightings of the Inkuma pride over the next little bit. It's really a wonderful thing to see and, and I hope that these little ones will survive. They are so cute, and so, but they are still very small. and. Like I say, six weeks is probably my guess. Maybe even five weeks. It's uh, maybe six weeks. Now that I see them kind of walking around. Yeah, as you're wondering if I'm able to determine their sex yet, it's difficult. You've got to kind of see underneath the tail and see them quite close. So tough to say what this little one is until it turns around and sees the tail. But I'm sure I saw the first one that went down into that drainage looked like a little boy. But I could be wrong. And we'll have to just wait and see and time will tell as time goes on we're going to get a better idea of whether or not they are boys or girls and as we get more sightings and we can see the little back ends and them lying on their backs and maybe with their legs sort of open we'll be able to decide or see whether they're males or females 
hopefully though there is a couple females in there because it will just strengthen the Inkuma pride even more remember the Inkuma pride because they've done so well with these sub adults these ones in picture now and there's five of those so in theory theory we should have a 10 pride or 10 member pride in the next little bit so the five females hopefully will stay with the the five adults and we'll end up with a 10 female pride which is massive because you can imagine if 10 females have cubs then you can have a situation where you know nine or, or let's say eight or nine of them have an average of three cubs you can work out do the maths how quickly that pride becomes over 20 it's an amazing sort of way that things grow here comes the looks like the younger female i think she's gonna go listen 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 She's picking it up and she's taking it. Where are you taking your little cub? Look how it tucks its little tail in. How cute is that? That is just too awesome, guys. It is one of those things that I always l want to see is when the mother carries her cub like that. It's just incredible. Now, a lot of you may think that that hurts, but it doesn't. The mother is being so gentle. She's just lifting it gently with her mouth and carrying it off into the den side. So she's taking it to an area that she wants to keep them which is really cool news i wonder if the other two are going to come bounding towards where mom is but look where she's going it's dense it's thick that's an area that is great for little leopard i mean little lion cubs she can try and hide them inside there and nobody's really going to pick them up from that area how sweet was that though that she picked it up it looks like she's putting it down where she is there in the thicket in the background i'm just it's difficult to see her but it looks that way Yaz, you asking what's the maximum distance that a cub will stray from its mother? It looks like the rest of the prides are also going to get up and start moving in that general vicinity. But um, it depends on the age. When they're young like this, not far. And um, you can see, so that mother w woke up when she saw the other two disappearing down into the drainage line and then went that way. So she's immediately realized these cubs are getting a little far from me and, and then went and fetched them. And that distance is not even 25 meters. And she's decided, nope, I need to go and intervene here and start moving them into a safer place and not out in the open like they were so she's now taken them deeper into a thicket and you can see one of the other adult lionesses has gone that way what is interesting is that i can only see two adult fe three adult females sorry the rest don't seem to be here so there's two adult females that i can't see at the moment they might be tucked around the bush somewhere there's one of the adult females i don't see the female with the injury at this stage i'm sure she's around but I just don't see her at this stage also here but how wonderful is this so 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 special we have been absolutely spoilt by seeing those little cubs it is a very 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 unique thing to see and I can see they just in the thickets uh, say there's no point looking but from where I can see I can just see a little bit of light moving through those Tamburti thickets and it looks like she's going deeper south which is great because that's back towards our area now why have you all lifted your heads is there something behind us yeah? I wonder if maybe the Birmingham males aren't at Tamburti Dam we're just south of the dam it could be maybe the Tamburti males and I mean the Birmingham males and some of the Inkumas are north of us at the dam that could be what's happening and that's why they're looking in that area so so cool I'm gonna just roll back a little bit because I just want to see if we can get a, a view up the drainage and also behind us because there is definitely something that alerted the cubs to behind us and there is water behind us so I think maybe just maybe the rest of the cubs are around that side yeah, I can see some of them up in the thicket as well. Let's just go through down to the drain line. Maybe we can get a view up the drainage line. Now it sounds like one of the leopards is also at Twin Dams. So one of our two boys is at Twin Dams from yesterday, which is good news as well. So you can see there's a bit of... This is a perfect place for a den site. Here's the lioness with the cubs close here. She's not far. Um, Seb, I'm just going to turn slightly. There she's picking up another one of the cubs and taking it deeper into the drainage. So the 
there she goes. Look, she's going up the hill with it. Come, you're not going that far away. You need to go back. Don't be naughty. Into the thicket you go. It's difficult to see her, I know, behind all the branches, but she's heading up towards a fallen over log. So I think there might be a hole in that log that she's putting them in. I can hear another one squeaking, and there's a little bit of aggression amongst some of the others up at the top there. So we don't have much of a visual, but Seb, I'm sure she's going to come back for the third cub, so we're just going to wait for a little bit. White Lady Un, you're wondering how often do cubs have, or well, do lions have cub, three cubs at a time? Uh, fairly regularly. It's not that uncommon. Um, the average is generally four, but you'll see one, two, three, five, seven. Um, the most I've seen is seven, but it's very kind of random and very sort of um, spread out. And, and sometimes, like I say, three is, is, is what is had. We know that Styx Pride has had three a few times, and it's not an uncommon thing at all. Here she comes, Seb, I think, for the... She's calling the last one, which is just disappearing into the thicket there. It's so difficult to see. She's carrying one, and two of them are following her deeper into the thicket. Here we go. Running along yeah, into the thicket. <laughs> you got a glimpse of them. I know exactly where we need to head to be able to see them, so... Oh, look at their little tracks on the road, Seb, you see in front here, they're tiny. So just on the edge of the road, on the right side in the tire track, is a little paw print. Um, no, go up a little bit, up, there it is. Look at how little it is. <laughs> so just over there, Seb, is where the paw print is. That's a tiny little lion cub paw print. <laughs> That's so cute, man. All right, I'm going to try and just move a little bit because we can't see much of the lions now. They've disappeared. That is so sweet. They are minute little things. Cute, man. The lioness is with the cubs. She's taking them deep into the bush now. So I'm not going to follow her in there. At least we know roughly where the den is. I'd rather spend time with the pride and not hassle her and go crashing through thickets in an attempt to kind of follow her because at the end of the day, I don't want her to stress and it's her first litter she's had. So I want her to just relax and to find a den site and not to put any pressure on her in any way whatsoever. So I'm going to just leave her be and see if she, I see her going towards a more open section we might go around but I don't want to stress her through a really heavy thicket and try and follow her in denseness like that because like I say it could potentially mean that she gets a little on the upset side maybe she panics and tries to move her den so it's all about respect when it comes to these little den sites